So it started 6 a.m. in a southern Utah small town Kanab where we met Brent, who's our group guide. And from there, well, we had trailer issues. <laughs> where every good adventure starts. At a Chevron at six in the morning fixing your trailer wiring. And there we go. I think we're ready. Let's hit the road. And then from there, we just drove. So we're in Monument Valley and Rudy has slept pretty much the entire way. But now he's awake, so now you can see. Wow, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I'll tell you, the drive through all that, I wouldn't know, but it was gorgeous. We finally made it to the trailhead where I unloaded my Jeep. We're here and I guess this is the start. This is Brent and his Jeep Bandit. Yep. We're going to Hole in the Rock, super historic. This is the, the Hole in the Rock Trail where the Mormon pioneers came across and uh, we'll see evidence down here where they chiseled the trail. I'm excited to get going. Cool, it's Great. gonna be a fun trip. And everyone else lined up for a photo. All right, so everybody go stand by their Jeep and we'll get a group picture. All right. And then we were off. On the adventure, four wheel drive, down the road we go. Brent was saying that before this is over, we're gonna end up somewhere underneath that mountain over there. That'll be really cool. I see a lot of rocks from here to there. It's a lot of rocks. <laughs> There comes a time in life, not everybody's life, when you have a choice. Go right to Lake Canyon or go left to Hole in the Rock. And we're faced with that decision right now. Whatever shall we do? Yeah, I think we're going to Hole in the Rock, so that's the way we should go. So the trail on day one was pretty good. It's a lot windier than I thought it was gonna be, but you know, it is what it is. But we do have a couple more minutes of of this rock crawling. got to camp we were relieved we sat down we made dinner we enjoyed it it was wonderful just setting up camp here in this little alcove pretty pretty neat actually it's not bad i like it it kind of blocks the wind yeah you want this otis can't have it Day two, we woke up from day one to wake up to day two. What? I hear you laughing. Good morning, it is day two of our little trip out here. And uh, we're ready to hit the trail again. Should be a good day. Let's get rolling. Got Janelle driving now. What do you think? I think it's good. Got the lockers on for the first little bit. I mean, I to turn. <laughs> What's
what's wrong? I got that figured out. I heard we're only a couple miles out from uh, something. I don't know what. From the campsite, we drove to a place where actually the Mormon pioneers carved out of these sandstone cliffs spots for them to walk down, walk their wagons, walk their carts down the mountain. I don't know how they got out here with wagons. And to remind you, we are in the middle of nowhere right now. This is the trail where they brought the wagons down, I guess. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty intense. Is, uh, originally, they uh, couldn't find a way off and they followed a bighorn sheep all the way down through here until they found their way off. Oh, wow. And that's how they discovered how to get down here. That trail right there was chiseled out by the Mormon pioneers and they brought their wagons down this thing. Look at all these cocoa puffs. Should have camped in here. Here's another marker, which indicates this is where they came down. I mean, look at that. I'm out of breath. So after we got done hiking the trail that was carved out by the pioneers, we made our way further down the trail. There you go. There you go. Straighten it out. Come right off. You're good. You're actually good. Take it off right here. There we go. How was that? I was good. Yeah, I, it was kind of scary. <laughs> well, Janelle did an amazing job on that waterfall, but the next hill is up that. Ate! Woo! lunch with an amazing view. I was overlooking Navajo Mountain and the San Juan River. Lunch was pretty good. Now it's time to roll out. And we're going that way. All the way down. I don't know where it goes, but we're going to find out together. We made our way down to Hole in the Rock. Okay, slow. Nice job, that was steep. I think I stopped breathing. <laughs> made it all the way to, well not all the way, it's still ways, but we made it as far as we're going to drive. To Hole in the Rock. All the way down there at the end of that canyon. And those same wagons that came off of that hill earlier came through there. 
Yeah, we got out, looked at Hole in the Rock. It was super cool, but we needed to make it to where we were camping for the second night. Next up, we're actually going to hit the Rincon Trail, and I uh, don't know exactly what that's like. We had to backtrack because it was one way in, one way out. Backtracked to this point where our group was actually splitting up. Well, this is where we split up. Half of us are going back home and the other half are going to go to the Rincon Trail. I'm gonna be honest, I forgot to fuel up before coming out here. So I started with half a tank and I'm at a quarter tank now. We're out in the middle of nowhere. It's not like I can just stop at the gas station and refuel. Okay, so now I'm all nervous about the, the Rincon Trail because uh, some side-by-side -side stopped by and they're like, hey, how you doing? You been on this trail before? I'm like, no. And they're like, well, you might fit. It's gonna be sketchy. Have fun, bye. And I'm like, uh, okay. Anyway, so we're gonna keep going. Hopefully we don't run out of gas or fall off the trail because yeah, now I'm all worried. to get pretty good with the rock crawling and trails and stuff. It was all going nice. It was a little bit harder than the previous trail to hole in the rock and that's okay. Like a Rudicon just eats that stuff up until the rock started eating the Rudicon. I drove into a hole. Let's just, let's just say that. Woo! You're like in a hole. That's how it was. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> My front tire is not even touching. I think I drove straight into this hole. I think so. You need to tow out of there or you get back out. I think I can drive it. Boy, I sure just drove right into that one, didn't I? So, that was fun. If you don't think so, that's okay too. They really should have put like a cone up or something when they're doing road work like this. Should have just followed Brett. He knew the way. <laughs> that's probably the closest I've ever been to rolling the Rudicon. It got really scary. For as wide as I am, I'm a lot wider than a typical Jeep, and this trail got narrow. We 
just drove off of that. <laughs> it's a gnarly trail. Now that we're in the bottom of the canyon, it's just a short little drive to the lake. Nothing serious, I hope. And that's where we'll be camping for the night. That's so cool. This is uh, Janelle's first time to Lake Powell. This is an interesting way to get there, if I do say so myself. We've been driving for two days. Like maybe we could go cliff jumping over there or something. Like, I haven't been to that side of Powell and it was like fantastic. It was like straight out of a movie. Look at this. Look at this. Flash, you know. So after we get done cleaning up camp, we're gonna head back up the Rincon Trail. Time to go up the big hill. Might run out of gas before we get up all the way, but you know, it's all in the adventure. We are burning some fuel up this. And I missed the hole this time. That is not the road. We are on borrowed time, because my fuel gauge like, is it really reading anymore? It's just pegged on E. I don't know if we'll make it. <laughs> Let me know if you uh, think I'm reckless or if, uh, or if I'm even gonna make it back to the truck. So, my fuel levels were just getting lower and lower and lower. And they were already low when we started. Cause my bad, I forgot to fill up the Jeep. And it's okay, it's okay, it happens. We've been going for about another hour, two hours. Apparently there's one more bar past E that we're finding out about. It's happening. After being on E for the last two hours. That's it. Father like son. I ran out of fuel. Hey Brent, I think I reached my limit. and he weren't coming over the hill, so I was like, okay. Thanks, Brant. Rudicon getting the best fuel mileage it has ever gotten in its entire life. Aside from on the back of the trailer. We made it. some amazing country, hear some amazing stories, and go on this amazing adventure. 